In PHP 7, it gives you the ability to populate the this keyword. Now, what is the this keyword? Well, it's based on context. So depending on where the function is and how the function is invoked, you will get a different value for the this keyword. Now, please note the way you call the function does matter. Now, you'll notice that I'm treating this function as an object by throwing it inside of a variable. This is actually really important because you can't change the this context via the new call method unless you treat the function as an object and chuck it inside of a variable. If you simply name the function, let's say context and have it like this, you can't actually then say context and then the call method. It's not allowed. So treat the function as an object and shove it inside of a variable. Now that I've shoved the function inside of a variable, I would then want to invoke this function. So I'm going to target the variable and then I'm going to open and close the brackets. And that will tell the PHP compiler that this right here is a function. It's a callable object and it will invoke the execution context. So I can go ahead and if we take a look in the browser, you get a notice. Now it's not a warning and it's not an error. Our application hasn't errored, but you did get a notice telling you that the this keyword that we're trying to echo out, so we're var dumping the this keyword, is by default undefined, meaning null. It has no real value. So the issue is, how do we now give it a value? How do we populate that this context? So the way in which we do that is we use the new call method. And I'm just going to strip out that function name because you are not allowed to give functions names that are contained within variables. So I'm just going to take that out so I don't get an error. And now we're going to use the new call method to invoke this function's execution context. Now, before we actually invoke the function, what we want to do is we want to create something like a class or an object to pass to the this context. That is very, very important. It will not accept a primitive value. So if I tried to make the this keyword, the this variable contain, let's say, a number or a string, then the PHP compiler will error. It will force you to give it an object so that this keyword can only be populated with an object, meaning given a value of the object type. So I've created a new class to create an object and I've called the class new OBJ and then I've given it a public property called prop. And then I've assigned it the string value, hello world. So now that I have the template for my object, I now want to invoke my function's execution context and change the this context. So I'm going to target the variable that contains my callable object. And then I'm going to invoke the function via the call method. And then when we invoke it via the call method, we then need to pass in an object that will populate the this keyword. So now we're changing the this context. We're literally forcing a value into the this context. And in my case, I'm instantiating a new object from the new OBJ class. The new OBJ class is generating an object right here. And that object will then be passed to the this keyword or the this context. So I can go ahead and save this now and hit refresh. And you'll notice that what we're doing here is we invoked it. We told it to dump out the contents that's contained within the this keyword. And you'll notice it says it is an object. It came from the new OBJ class and it has a property. It has a string inside the property. And that value is hello world. So you can change the this context. And the reason why you'd want to do that is because maybe you just want a function out here that's just one copy 
and you might want to use that function with many different classes, many different instances, and you may also want to use it with objects that let's say you create that didn't necessarily come from a class. So this function is adaptable to work with any object. And don't forget, you can access this object just like any other object. So I can just go ahead and use the arrow and then say, go fetch the prop properties value right here. And again, you could invoke a method as well. It's entirely up to you. But if I was to say prop, then it would go and fetch the value inside of the prop property. And you'll notice it says, hello world. So that is how to change the this context of a function by using the call method.